The mystery and the romanticism of the moon has impacted cultures throughout history. It's been calling to us all of these centuries, and we have the technology now to make it part of our world. My name is Bob Richards. I'm the CEO of Odyssey Moon Limited. Odyssey Moon is a lunar enterprise. We were formed to try to pursue commercial ventures on the moon. We are also the first contenders for the Google Lunar X Prize. The Google Lunar X Prize is a very ambitious undertaking. It calls for a private team, privately funded with no more than 10% of government funding, to finance and land a private robotic spacecraft on the surface of the moon, take mooncasts, high definition video, of both the landing and of 500 meters away. And if you can do that, you can win $20 million as the first prize. Going to the moon is a very expensive endeavor. It'll take way more than $20 million to win the prize. When humanity first reached the moon, it was the result of superpower politics. It was all about proving supremacy. It was a race to the moon, but it was a race really for the wrong reasons. We abandoned the moon only after three years of exploration. We're only starting to regain those footprints that we first gained in the late 60s and early 70s. The Google Lunar X Prize is inspiring a whole new effort to get back to the moon. You don't know where the next innovation is going to come from. It could, become, it could come from a student. You don't know that. So you want to get all of these ideas percolating with people coming up with great new innovations. My name is Alexander Ho and I'm here to as a research assistant at the University of Toronto doing my masters and I work with these rovers over here which we hope to be able to develop controllers that will be used on actual rovers that go to the moon. Prize means we have to roam 500 meters. So we don't know what type of hazards are going to be in front of us. So either we have to put that type of intelligence into the rover so it can figure things out for itself, or we need to basically drive it from Earth. We want the rover to go down into a crater, and it could lose, it could lose communication with Earth. You don't want it to get lost. Right, exactly. So it has to be able to f figure out how to get home. Yeah. yeah. Like ET phone home. Exactly. Yeah. Bye. Behind me is the high bay of the MDA uh, space missions in Brampton, Ontario. Uh, this is where the incredible robotics that Canada is famous for is designed and created. A rover like this, or actually maybe smaller than this, would be a very ideal mechanism to have on the moon because it would give you the mobi mobility with instruments to be able to go analyze. It has cameras like human eyes, so it allows it to move and to see where it's going. If we want to know about the atmosphere, if we want to know if there's any life on another planet, if we want to go and check the soil, if we just want to go and look at the landscape, these rovers are designed to answer those questions. With the Google Lunar X Prize and the worldwide focus that we have emerging up for the moon, we, were, we will change people's minds about the moon, its relevance, and why it's important to our future. I think it's going to be private sector that will actually outpace the governments for a while, but the governments will be working in concert. There's a wealth of resources there and knowledge to be gained. And by expanding the economic sphere of Earth out towards the moon, we're going to find ways for business to contribute to the exploration of space. Just like it's always been on every frontier, so it will be on the moon.